We out here. We out here, Mulder, Mulder uh, 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 Tav and Yuri or, or Peach or whoever is, is not here right now. All right. Um, so it's just, you've just got us for this, uh, for this episode. Sorry, guys. Sorry to disappoint everyone. Yep. Sorry. <clears throat> but I guess since this is Malden Mulder, we can just, just, you know, complain because, you know, all, that's all we do is, is complain unless, unless you have any topics you also want to bring up. That's it. That's our, that's the only thing our section, uh, is built with is complaining. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who else comes here to watch uh, us complain, but, you know, whoever whoever you are, shout out to you. Redacted does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Is there anything to mold about this week, though? Um... So last time I complained, we, we complained about, uh, Call of Duty, um, and I also kind of, I also kind of mentioned, like, you know, I was hoping, like, Halo and Battlefield could do, could do better. Turns out fucking not, because as, as we all know, uh, how much of a, how much of a mess Battlefield 2042 is, and Halo Infinite isn't even, isn't faring any better either. I can't wait for Internet of Jay's video on the rise and fall of Halo, or yeah, Halo Infinite. Oh, you can already find that stuff. Everyone's already, already doubling down on, on uh, how much of a shit show Halo Infinite is because, at its core, it's great. The gameplay is actually fun, with the use of all the uh, all the little armor abilities and uh, the, its own weapon sandbox. The problem is the the very little maps and the lack of content because 343 is like all right this is going to be a live service game which means it's going to be battle passes constant updates new things added over the course of of this game's lifespan and so far all there's been is maybe a couple um a couple events for free items and uh just more stuff in the shop isn't that what Fortnite and Call of Duty and all these other games are, though? <clears throat> yeah, but uh, the the selection of uh, but they still add other sorts of new things uh, like uh, weapons or stuff. And in this case, uh, Halo Infinite has not as yet to have any new maps whatsoever. So you're stuck with like the handful of uh, of four v four maps and like three. Um, 12v12 maps or whatever. Is there a forge mode? Nope. No forge. No forge mode. Uh, no custom, uh, no custom games. And theater mode is also broken as shit. See, this one, there wouldn't be a drought if people just had the option to, like, play other people's forge made maps. Yeah, or, or custom modes. Like, there's no infection. There's no, um,. What 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 other ones were there? There's no Griff Ball. There's no <clears throat> there's no special unique you know fun modes. It's all just it's all just variations of Slayer uh, with um, with uh, Oddball Strongholds and Capture the Flag thrown in into the quick match. And there's only one ranked playlist, which it doesn't even matter because uh, skill based matchmaking is implemented in the entire thing. Damn. So it's it, so if you see like people's first times, or if you if you have a first time playing Halo Infinite, it seems so fun, and then just like with Call of Duty, all that fun will go away in a couple of matches because oh suddenly you're gonna go, you're going up against like Phase or Cloud Nine or Optic or something, thinking that this is the Halo Championship series. Could couldn't be me with Overwatch. <laughs> is there even anything casual in Overwatch, or is it just all competitive? Well, I mean, it's like the main things all competitive, 
you know, hybrid, like, capture the point escort maps or just capture point A, point B. But, like, the special events, like, with all the skins and, like, seasonal stuff, have certain casual ones. Hmm. It's more PvE than PvP in the seasonal events, though. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, all and... the casuals pretty much left when, you know, it start dying and crossplay was initiated. All the tryhards and stuff that are all on PC still having an advantage against people with controller. Uh, as always. In gold in gold rank, acting like their family's about to be executed if they don't win this match. <laughs> that's what it feels like. In that's what it feels like in Call of Duty and in uh and in Halo. Because it's plus and, and also uh, keyboard mouse does have an advantage over uh, other, other than it doesn't have its own you know form of aim assist but um, like controller the sensitivity is so fucking weak because it, if, if I go if I go max settings on sensitivity for controller on infinite it's just four on call of duty that's how fast it moves. So, if you ever see people doing, like, uh, all them, like, uh, really fast, uh, like, mouse flicks, that's all just, that's all just with mouse. No one's ever moving that fast with, uh, with a controller. Your best bet is just to do a lot of strafing and, and, like, strafe aiming, because your character's not gonna turn that quick to, uh, to, to, uh, counterattack the person that just appeared behind you and started shooting. You mean you mean all McCree and Widowmaker players on console? Yeah, and I and I see I see a bunch of people playing, and and I see people like in any any game with like mouse, uh, that are like really high paced, like 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 a uh, like Warzone or anything, like their fucking mouse flicks are are just they are fucking cracked, because you'll it because it and sometimes it does look like they've got some sort of like aimbot or something like that. But it's just when you notice, like, kind of the way that it kind of jiggles a bit when they're aiming and shooting, that you know they're not always one hundred percent on. So there's still that little bit of shake. Yeah. But like, yeah, there's times where like controller is so even with aim assist, because because that's a thing a lot of keyboard warriors will like will like uh, hit, uh, stay behind for defense. Is they'll be like, oh yeah, but. You know, the controller has aim assist, so you know you don't need to worry about uh, you know having to go up against us uh, keyboard mouse because uh, you know you have an advantage over us when you know fucking no. Plus, if the game's not optimized with its uh, aim assist, then not everyone's going to be hitting shots. Also, Infinite Halo Infinite has uh, fucking desync issues too. So you'll be your crosses will be dead on someone's body, and you take that shot, but it just won't. It'll just it'll just go right past them because it thinks that you shot next to them. This is so sad. Saber quote uh, Obi Wan upon uh, Anakin failing at the final scene, the near final scene where he gets his legs lost. You were the chosen <laughs> one. The, exactly. Infinite was supposed to be. This was supposed to be the next, the, the new thing to to go to because of how how much Call of Duty and then how much Battlefield was failing. But no, all three of these FPS titans, they fell off. They literally did. At least with uh, at least with Call of Duty, there's the news that. Um, after this year's installment, they're going to drop the, the yearly releases because, oh, hey, guess what? When you overwork your employees to the point of past crunch, yeah, you're going to get half-assed products that don't get that much of a player base anyway. And no, throwing, um, throwing microtransactions and items in the shop won't remedy that issue. On top of track records of previous installments? Yeah. So there's at least that. So I'm hoping there's some there's some issues there. I just hope that I just hope that Microsoft actually does something about old Bobby Boy because uh, 
uh, as far as everything goes, he's just getting away with everything that uh, happened when the thing was under his uh, thumb. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, um, uh, employees were were, uh, were treated like shit. One of them... Baba Booey. Oh, well, well, no problem. Just, uh, uh, just you know, you get you get to keep your job, buddy, while we, uh, while we manage things out here. Speaking of Call of Duty, did you see the WMD they're adding to Cold War and new weapon? What? Yeah, they're adding new content to Cold War. Are you fucking serious? Oh. But, sorry, you won't be able to experience it, because Cold War doesn't work on your console for some reason. Yeah, I know. That's... I don't know if that's a me thing or what. Like, if something happened that, uh... Um... If something happened that, like, caused it to not function when I installed it for the first time, or if I just have to reinstall it, because... It might have been a you thing. I, I'm hoping. I'm, I've heard some people had issues, too, but, like, so far, no solutions. I had issues. The only issues I had were, like, two crashes total, and that was on PS4. Yeah, what, what I had was just, like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna... Because they don't have... They don't. They didn't bother to add an option to clear all new items, so I have to go in and and highlight the item. Not just highlight the item to to check that I already looked at it, but highlight it and then move to another one so that it takes away the little the little like green square or whatever to show that it's new. Because if I just like if I just go over and, and highlight the item and then leave the menu, it won't count. So. But then when I go into like, oh, okay, you know, what what useless charm or useless, useless sticker did I unlock for free or whatever? And then when I scroll down to go find it, suddenly, oh, uh, we experienced a problem. Uh, the game's just going to fucking close. Because fuck you, uh, Treyarch, we're, we're bad at, at this, at this uh, optimization thing. Maybe, I, I don't know. I was running mine on a PS4 Pro, so there was that. Mine's just a slim, so who knows? Apparently, some people with like day one PlayStation fours had like no issue whatsoever. You know, so who knows what that could be? Well, yeah, Cold War's getting new content. Hopefully, new operators, which is the rumor. The rumor, huh? <clears throat> rumor we say but we know it's a most likely confirmed if people are already oh yeah uh, data mines yeah if they if they found Don't it in the names. files if they found it in the files then for sure they um uh for sure it's a thing because uh uh what's a uh, fucking soap and uh what's his face some dude named sparks was found in the, in the files and, and not only that, I found the files, but people were actually able to enable those files to show, hey, look, it's the files are literally there in the game. But we're going to take until like halfway through Cold War's lifespan to finally add uh, the ability to play it, to, to buy soap in, uh, in Modern Warfare. And then, um, and you know how, uh, and, and okay, so you know how in, uh, it, both uh, in Cold War and Modern Warfare, and also Vanguard, uh, when you unlock an operator and you highlight them for the first time, it plays like a little introduction sort of thing. Yeah. Um, the the uh, Soap and Sparks did not have one. They they didn't even ha they didn't even have like the time or or whatever to animate just a little like just a little thing of like the character doing something with their name coming up. They didn't do that, and plus. Uh, it doesn't even work for Modern Warfare anyway, because if you go into the menu for that, um, in the Modern Warfare multiplayer menu, and select, like, um, like that character, and try to show, like, their, view their bio, it'll just, it won't show, it'll just show, like, a little placeholder, like, loading screen. It won't even show, like, the, the character's own video, because to, f to try to, op to try to make space for all the other pointless stuff for Warzone, they just keep taking out stuff that Modern Warfare had. Like, they're, so they're literally borrowing like from what Modern Warfare had to add on to this mode. Yeah, they're they're literally removing Modern Warfare stuff to have to make space for Cold War and Vanguard stuff. Like um, back in back in launch day, um, 
if you actually went into the menus for like uh, for uh, field upgrades or even uh, equipment like uh, tactical or or uh, lethal grenades, there was actually a little video that would they actually had the ability to play a little like a mini tutorial video to show what those things do. Now or or with kill streaks too, but. Uh, some at some point they just remove that stuff because they're like, oh, uh, we need to make room for all this other stuff because we don't know how to optimize anything. It still it still throws me off, like how when you go over to an operator for the first time and it's supposed to play something in Cold War, it plays something, but it's like very silent. There ain't no like addition of sound, not even the menu tracks playing when you hover over. It's just silence. Yeah. And then and I think they I think they removed it all together because they overhauled the uh, operator menu in the uh, in the warzone side but for modern warfare it's just kind of the way that it was before it's just that um, when you select when you have like your list of operators by faction it it'll usually show a little like because um, it's not as elaborate as uh, vanguards where it shows it, where it has like a little movie with the character going on where where the uh, butcher like, gives like a little backstory on them or whatever but it's just like them kind of it's like cold wars where they do a little motion or they'll be holding a gun or doing something to kind of show their personality and then it'll show their name but they're just like nah uh we we need to we need to uh put in all these extra files so we're just gonna take these out this update how's it vanguard does one thing one thing good, given cinematics like every operator, but goes back in every other regard. And not only that... Don't play the new zombies. Uh, uh, was there something was there something recent that Treyarch fucked up again with this? Yeah, it's basically the previous map. Like, it's still not round-based. It's objective-based. That's pretty much like the thing like everybody's still complaining about like yeah. oh yeah uh where's where's our full-on shinonuma round base thing <laughs> i think they did some with that but it was more like just the areas that are already in the game it's not the full map unlocked damn chair fell off No, but don't worry. Trust me on uh, no. Trust me on Twitter. The, this guy said it's going to be great next game. All right. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Ghost one for one said that this guy on Twitter said it's going to be great. Trust me. What? <laughs> There's just like he's, he's a COD content creator. He has to be telling the truth. Right. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm not doing this just to. Uh... To uh, have uh, ad revenue because this is like my literally my job, but like let me just he says as he pours another drink. <laughs> Listen, if I I bought a whiskey barrel, but I don't have any whiskey to fill it with. I should do that later. Ah, ah, it spilled. Shit. He's like, he's like, I need this to talk about what what we're talking about. <laughs> all this talk, all this talk about Vanguard is dry in my mouth. Listen, <laughs> oh, it's such a mess. What game out? What game's coming out that's worth supporting? Oh, uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring just came out. Or, it's like or unless it's... you're on PC. Well. Listen, I was I've been watching I've been watching some of uh, um, Hall of Life playing it. Both both Gura and Iris made the mistake of aggroing an NPC. Yeah, what can you do? I know. I was just like watching this, like because and the thing is, is that like I was looking at chat and like usually you know. Usually, it's not a good idea to listen to like chat backseating, but there are so many people pl- saying it's like, it's like, no, he's got a qu- he's got like a quest, or like they're saying all this other stuff. It's like, it's like, no, you need him for something later, or 
all this other stuff. But then there's other people in chat just encouraging her to just kill him. And then there, or there's like, or just like, you can do it or blah, blah, blah. Just like, it's like, you can tell who are the souls veterans and who are, who are not. I feel like most Souls veterans would just say get good, and that's their advice. <laughs> pretty, sure, I mean, pretty sure. Because um, when uh, when Callie played it, because um, she's familiar with the Souls games, so she actually had a whole like kind of policy in the description about backseating, where it's just like, you know, don't just spam things in all caps. You know, if if she asks for advice, you know, you know, give it. But otherwise, don't. Don't be like, uh, keep dodging, keep dodging, or keep blocking, keep blocking, or whatever. I feel like that's just common. That's just common sense. It should be, but it ain't really advice. Uh, but <laughs> right, but and you know, and you know, not backseating should be common advice or common sense because you know. Most times, you want to just let the person experience it and just give them help when they're actually struggling. But you know, both both YouTube and Twitch chat just doesn't really get it. It like it's like it's like once once you go in once you become part of chat, you lose your IQ and be, and become a collective hive mind. That's it. I'm gonna make Elden Ring my first Elden Soulsborne game. That I'm going to experience. Oh jeez, you better, you better like, you better record that or something. <laughs> that or I'm... demon, the Demon Souls on PS5. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there hasn't been anything, anything new with that, has there? Because I know, I know, I, I saw like I saw videos to show it's like here's what you can do to. Uh, to uh, break the game, basically, and become overpowered, like, instantly. And I don't know if that stuff was patched out yet or whatever. That's it. I'm joining the security breach uh, fa- speedrunning community to break the game and find out speedrunning even faster with the new <laughs> patch. <laughs> oh, what, what speedrunning techniques are there for that game? I uh, there there are certain there before patch there were skips and ways to skip like just basically get out of this area and skip on to the next area or literally get inside Freddy then get back out to gl- like clip through the wall to fall into another area to get there faster and bypass oh. part of the game. Oh, that's just like the um that's just like the the technique in Fallout 4 to uh to use the to use the power armor, um, the entering the power armor animations to clip through uh, doors that you can't open, like if you need to use a terminal or a key or something like that, or that it, it doesn't open unless you do a specific thing. Um, that's also a technique. And there are a whole certain amount of categories. I think that someone sped run the game in like under three minutes. Oh, Jesus. And then there are, like, another category that's like, oh, you can't do, uh, like, there are certain things you can do in certain categories, but, like, the one I was watching on, there's, it was on this one channel, anyway, it's like 1440-something for one of the endings. Jesus. I've just been in a rabbit hole of speedrun videos. Speedrunners are, speedrunners are built different. Literally built different, but now like the rabbit hole I'm in is like Dead Rising speedruns, which should be impossible because mm. of how the game works. But they have a mod that basically skips on to the next mission because it's on. It's basically an on rails game. You have to do a mission, wait in between, then do the next mission. It's like that, but with the mod, they just skip to the next one. And they're beating the first game, which is, like, 2007 release. Oh. In under, like, 30 minutes, the main story. Jesus. Pretty interesting. Man. 
Oh, and of course, people have already figured out how to speedrun Elden Ring. NSFW artists when they beat Elden Ring in under two days. <laughs> and then decide they need to draw porn of it now. Need to, they, need to, they need to draw porn of all the waifus. Like the like the the like your standard uh, leveling up maiden. Also, <laughs> the fucking no bitches meme has evolved with uh, Elden Ring with with into uh, no maidens because of the first NPC that you talk to the the the, the NPC that that Gura and Iris attacked. He's like. He's like, like when you talk to him, he's like, ah, but you are maidenless. Uh... <laughs> and both of them, both of them being souls noobs, be like, oh yeah, well I'm just gonna bonk you on the head a few times, and then they get absolutely decimated. I Iris eventually killed him, but like, mm. I I had to I had to tune out after I after I watched. I was just like. Mm. Well, isn't that isn't that like a thing? Isn't there a thing you could do in Bloodborne where it's like, oh, if you attack the what is it, the doll lady, she's gonna respawn either way when you go back there next time. Well, yeah, she will, because those NPCs you need for uh, for leveling up, but like, there's other cases where an NPC where there's a quest, there's like an optional quest line for them. Yes, there is an option to kill them, but that locks you out of being able to finish that quest, which usually leads to like, letting you unlock, um, or letting you uh, get like, rare items or something. Alright, they made they made their mistake, right? You had your chance, now deal with it. <laughs> you had your... <laughs> You had your chance. Oh, Mark you had your chance, now go. <laughs> <laughs> or where it's cut off, just you had your chance. <laughs> Perfectly cut yeah, memes. I love I love that. I'm, I love anything that's like perfectly cut, whether it's screams or other sorts of scenes. Back to whatchamacallit. Oh, what was it? Um, back to data mining, right? You're saying that anything that's data mined will eventually come, right? Yeah. Where's Where's Slayer and Strive, huh? Riddle me that. He's probably coming later down the season. Oh yeah, in season season two. <laughs> there was this there's this GIF I saw of someone playing Revelator. It was a uh, Slayer versus Milia. Milia essentially had full health. Oh, but once Slayer went into danger time, he did some move and her health was basically all the way gone except one hit left. <laughs> People are like, tell me why you want him in Strive again? If they're const <laughs> we're constantly in danger time. <laughs> it's like there's people... That's like there were people complaining about bringing Biken in because of how difficult she is to use in past installments, but apparently her whole her whole thing is like changed now. Yeah, she feels a lot better, easier, definitely because of you know everyone's quote unquote as everyone puts it gutted moves list. <clears throat> now, do you think it's like oh? Everything simplified to appeal to a broader audience, or what? Honestly, hard to say. I feel like it's part of that, but there's like another reason why that I can't like. Right now, off the top of my head, and in the heat of the moment, I can't think of how to explain it. Because I know, you know what I mean. Yeah, because I know that's what turned off a lot of uh, a lot of competitive players from BB Tag because of how simplified the moves are for everyone. Because you know, to implement the tag system, they kind of had to make everyone's moves sort of more simplistic to he adhere to like a like a two button style. Which I mean, you know, yeah, I get, but you know, it's a game combining uh, mainly 
mainly uh, with uh, in- incorporating characters first when it came out from three different uh, fighting games uh, that all had completely different gameplay, and then adding in a franchise that uh, so far has only hasn't had a fighting game, and has only had just like one game um, that is just a Shadow Warriors game. Uh, which is Ruby Grim, Grim Eclipse, but because you know you take you take someone that's like perfect that's like high level at Blaze Blue, and then you make them play you know you make them play Under Night or you make them play Persona Four Arena, um, and with with have their and have have their knowledge of only Blaze Blue, like they don't they don't know any other fighting games you know they're not gonna you know. <clears throat> be this at the same level unless they like actually practice but like first you know day one you give them this game and it's like you know they got to try to figure it out and you know same for the other games because uh persona 4 arena i think was technically a two-button fighter because the other two buttons were the personas um oh who the fuck is texting me um Fucking, oh, my fucking mom sends me TikToks. I can't believe it. I'm about Who's to. Um, I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to sneed. I'm about to mold, seeth, cope, and then take some lean for this fucking all the fucking TikToks she sends me. But yeah, in the same case, if you take like a like a person who specifically only played Uniel or only played, you know. Persona 4 Arena, and then you make them play Blaze Blue. They're like, you know, okay, uh, you know, I need a minute. So you got to have sort of a unified gameplay to sort of make everything fit together. Yeah, I, I, I see. Like, I feel like they did. Yeah, they did turn off a lot of people, simplifying it. But I feel like the reason for it is for yes, the broader audience, but. Since Guilty Gear isn't like this oh big old name like Street Fighter and Tekken like up there like out front and center in like GameStops and stuff. Yeah. They wanna like, appear they wanna appeal to the West more. Yeah. And you know, pe- people that go from simpler fighting games to like something like Blaze Blue are like, Oh, how come things are so complicated? How come I can't just do a simple combo? Yeah. Or like take me for example. With a few buttons. Yeah, take me for example. My first fighting game experience was solely was Mortal Kombat, and then, um, and then I was so I was like I was like all playing Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat Nine, which you know I wasn't great at, but I I, t- I still had a grasp of like this is how this is how the mechanics work, this is how the combo system works, and then I try out Blaze Blue, and I'm, and then I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Which I mean, Nether Realm fighters kind of already uh, in Midway fighters before kind of had their own separate separate thing where combos were uh, like specific combos were sort of um, already preset in certain um, in certain uh, button sequences. Whereas with most other fighters, it's sort of like yeah, you just press what, whichever of these buttons together, and you just have to figure out which one works together instead of just like you do it like. With Mortal Kombat, they're just like, oh, there's uh one one two or one two one one three uh, uh back two or something like that. Um, whereas with well, because because they they name their their buttons sort of differently. Um, whereas you go from like uh, Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear, or no, you go with like Blaze Blue, you've got like you've got like your A your A B uh, your A B and C's, or you know you've got your A B A. Uh, what fucking uh, two C or you know, you get what I mean, right? Yeah. Because those those ones, other fighting games are more like, yeah, you can just press whatever. You just have to make that work. Whereas with uh, Mortal Kombat or Injustice, it's like you have to use the you have to use these combos, and then you have to try to make it work with these special moves or whatever cancels you have or whatever other you know sort of techniques specific to that character yeah and like blaze blue and like guilty gear and them before strive and tag was more 
you could press whatever it might work but there are also set combos you could do and then like at make your own with all these things because certain like button presses it doesn't have to be certain but you could like basically be mashing and something would connect in multi hit yeah it might not be long but it'll still be a mini combo essentially yeah, and and also, you know, also taking consideration of how different metas there would be, like uh, with uh, with emphasis on like playing neutral, doing a lot of footsies, or um, you know, or whatever other uh, whatever other thing the game specifically focuses on. So, <clears throat> I mean, that is kind of that is kind of make you wonder, like if they if they bring over any like any uh, XR Revelator characters to uh, strive, how are they going to be changed? And then uh, compared to like how, how soul or how Kai or all of them are changed from the previous installment. Well, I'll tell you how they change, right? Jackal's now venom essentially. Jesus. Right. She, she has her minions, right? But now she's throwing them at you. <laughs> she's basically venom too now. So, Damn. Happy Chaos is just gun. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a dachi. <laughs> it's like yeah, he could he could hit you normally, but most of his most of his attacks are gonna be gun. <laughs> it's oh. like gun it's like gun 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 hit gun like if you're lucky you wall shattered that's like reload and then focus and then repeat god and try not to die oh, i wouldn't even know who i'd be able to like who i'd be able to to main if i ever if i ever get strive potemkin <laughs> i ain't no grappler buddy why all right why spend all this time learning all these combos when you only need a few like button inputs to win <laughs> right hammerfall slide head mega fist <laughs> and potemkin buster right it's all you need <laughs> on oh, Groot impact <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault you fell for Temkin Buster three times in a row. <laughs> it's, listen, it's not my fault that I took away 90% of your health bar within the first five minutes. It's not for my parts. fault you saw I was playing for Temkin and decided to be Chip. <laughs> Or it's not my fault you decided to go up against the gold, Lewis, as Chip. <laughs> you got you got speed and low health for a reason, all right? That's that's your advantage is speed, and, but your disadvantage is low health, all right? Look, <laughs> listen. All you gotta do, no, you know what? Then it should be easy to beat the beat <laughs> to beat old Joe Biden in a in a first to five if he's going to be using Chip. <laughs> just play Potemkin <laughs> or Gold Lewis. He's a wise Chip. He ain't just con he ain't just constantly what you call. It? He's taking time to like know when he could get in and not get hit or countered. <laughs> When that guy was saying, Joe Biden, wake up, that wasn't mean, that wasn't mean literally, like, wake up from his sleep. He was telling him to, to, to do a wake up attack. Oh. <laughs> he's this fucking, I'll get you. He's this, <laughs> he's this fighting game coach and he's like, wake up. Biden's knocked out, wake up. He's getting pummeled by a Leo White thing, Joe Biden, wake up. <laughs> Turns out the celestial challenge was actually you having to beat Joe Biden in a first to five. 
And the Celestial Challenge reward is actually your stimulus check. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta work for it. (laughs) I hate how there's just that flair. It's like, name Joe Biden. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) occupation (laughs) president. (laughs) And wasn't it like the (laughs) red, white, and blue colors for, for Chip? Yeah, and like the what, like the link to them was the, the actual like U.S. White House and stuff website. <laughs> listen, listen. If Stri- I want to see, I want to see Strive at big tournaments, and then I want to see like fucking Secret Service just escorting, <laughs> escorting Biden to like to <laughs> up to the stage. As he's like holding his own, like he's holding his own, um, his own like game stick, all like customized, like red, white, and blue, with like the American flag and stuff on it. They're like escorting him up. <laughs> I better, I better see a chip. I better see a chip online, and they better have the name Joe Biden. <laughs> and it better be the most closest colors we could get to Joe Biden and Strive, unless. <laughs> Unless they're modding on their end, and they see there's it's modding on their end, and it's just an anime model of of, the, of Joe Biden. And... <laughs> People who stream Strive like modded are built different, right? <laughs> All right, listen. If I get this on PC, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll put Adachi over Happy Chaos, and then I'll figure out who to who to reskin everyone else as. You're gonna get the Shaggy and Scooby as Giovanna and Ray. <laughs> Actually, I was um, was I think I was I was rewatching one of uh, one of uh, uh Kralos's streams, and uh, I think he uh, I think there was like we were like talking or he was someone uh, there was a conversation about um about Gio- uh, Giovanni and. <laughs> They said, uh, I think someone said to reskin, uh, reskin, reskin her her dog as uh, as Lycan Jones, and reskin her as as uh, um, uh, Ricardo Emilios, Ricardo Milos, <laughs> or whatever. And he's like, I'll be happy with that. So uh, we need to get someone on that. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just gonna pull a reskin as John Arbuckle and Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be Borf Star versions. Oh god. Reskin no 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 reskin reskin soul bad guy as Garfield. I got then... I got an even better idea, right? It's Calvin and them, right? <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> Oh god, that makes so much more sense. I have Sol, I have Sol as Garfield and I have John Arbuckle as Kai. <laughs> someone, so someone mods John Arbuckle as Potemkin? <laughs> no, he's the fucking... What's his face? Oh, the fucking... I forgot his name. The fucking Viking dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hagar, I think. Hagar or something. Okay. <clears throat> if 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 Studio Loans is still does still listen to this podcast, please do just do the next episode in just a modded version of Guilty Gear Strive where everyone is reskinned as Borf Star characters. <laughs> that will be the next episode, okay? Potemkin, but instead, uh, instead he's uh, Kill House. <laughs> happy, happy chaos, but it's Grinch from Blood on Mount Crumpet. Alright, when's the Fist of the Borf Star mod pack for every character? <laughs> and the bat and the bat background music too. <laughs> the background music is just various various anime tracks that's used in the Borf Star. 
God. <laughs> right, who would we who would we mod like in Jones to be? Uh, Leo White Fang. <laughs> like it's like <laughs> who would we mod Nagoriyuki as? Because it has to fit with the you know his arcade one, his ult, the final final arcade one where. You have to win against him without losing a round. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Guilty Gear, King of the Sunday Funnies. Let's just retell the entire Guilty Gear story, but through Fist of the Borf Star. <laughs> with because it's it, essentially the same just oscar what happened to my favorite girl aria i got rid of him <laughs> frederick aria's gone <laughs> forever bring her back i can't <laughs> commence the gears <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Same format. All this and, and use the the text to speech voices too. <laughs> Someone get on that. Oh, so you I know, know what? I know we are. <laughs> text use the use those same text to speech voices, but use those as use those as voice mods for Strive. <laughs> oh my God. Use that wise guy voice or whatever for Garfield and just make him say everything that Soul says and replace his voice lines with that. Is one of his winning quotes, I am become La Saga. <laughs> I am become La Saga. <laughs> Have another one replace the announcer. So instead of like having like energy, instead of ha having all that like energy saying, uh, <clears throat> instead of uh instead of uh, I was like instead of um like mankind blame the beast but it's the fuck one of the text to speech voices instead of the strive like round intros it's like mankind knew they could not change society so instead of reflecting on themselves they blame the beast heaven or hell it'll be blood on mount crumpet a grinch story and then as soon as it like cuts to the characters it's the other quotes like Grinch. I'm scared. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Heaven or hell will be like, shut up. <laughs> what oh my crump it is. <laughs> it, that one's legendary. Especially the especially the, the, the different ending. <laughs> All right, do you think do you think the do you think the real like and Jones is gonna hate us for this? For this? <clears throat> what are you talking about? The real like and Jones is is dead. He lives on in all of our spirits. We are we are like and Jones. The real like and Jones were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, liking Jones is just the One Piece. I'll get you. <laughs> That's it. We're re we're renaming this. We're renaming this segment instead of Mald and Mauler, It's Mod and Modding. <laughs> mod and Modding. Oh, I do like I do like Modding though. <clears throat> modding do be fun though. Yeah, once you can get it to work right and know how to do it. Like, modding modding uh, Central Fiction versus modding uh, Tag is, like, is, is whack. Because the Tag files are all encrypted, and you gotta use, like, a program to, to decrypt them and, and, and change them up. 
Arxis when they have to encrypt everything and it's a hassle to get anything out of their games. Yeah. I mean, apparently the the files on the Switch were not encrypted, so people were, were able to instantly extract, uh, or at least have an easier time extracting the sprites and stuff from um, <clears throat> from the Switch version of Tag, so they were able to get the uh, uh, all the all the Ruby sprites out already. But then the fucking hassle of the fact that like the resolution for the Ruby stripe Ruby stripe uh, sprites are all like 4K. So when you when you just when you open up like a, an image editing program and put Ruby sprite next to Ragna, his is fucking small because of how low res the Blaze Blue sprites are. Remember whenever Central Fiction came out, everyone's still talking about Sue Snow, and they said he looked like he looked more high res like than other ones, and he looked like he'd be out. His movements looked like. It, lo- it seemed like he was started out in 3D and was, like, from a Guilty Gear or something with how his moves were. Mm. People are just like, he seems more smoothly animated than, like, you notice on spri- the other sprites. Seems like that. It felt like that with Hakuman. It felt like Hakuman sprites <clears throat> were, were animated differently from, like, everyone else's. Because... Like if you look at like like um, I think it was one one of his uh, intro animations where he's like holding his sword up to his face and then he like sort of does this little move um, before he uh, goes into his his uh, idle stance. It like it looks smoother than everything else like in 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 Blaze Blue games. It's weird. But but we don't know. We don't make games. Yeah. What do we, we don't know? know all the fancy stuff. What do we know? We just we just take the games apart and insert our own our own things into it. We just take the games apart and and add add funny add 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 funny to us, but it's probably dry to everyone else. Yeah. Where people don't get what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's all inside jokes until everyone know until everyone knows what you're saying, and then. At that point, it's it stops being funny because everyone keeps saying it, you know. Kind of, kind of like when, kind of like when, uh, when like a, a when you're in a, a small community and you've got like some inside jokes, and then suddenly your community gets really, really big, or because of the thing that you, your community is centered around becomes mainstream, and so everyone thinks that the funny thing you say uh, should just be said over and over and over again. <laughs> Jojo. <clears throat> Uh, lean. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, All right. So I saw I saw that meme that was like, it's the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. That one, it's it's one page, and it's where basically all these lean memes. Yeah, that and one. What they're saying, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I was like, that's that's funny, Manny. And uh, he says it again. And they were all just like, "Fucking kill us." Uh, I was like, I feel like I feel like this is very heavily leaning towards. I'm like, why does this seem like I'm getting personally attacked, even though it's not from, directly from anyone? It just, it really feels like that when, like, like JoJo was so obscure to me when I first got into it. Like people, w- people would say these, people would say these, uh, uh, sort of like lines to uh, or quotes. From especially from like later parts that like weren't well known because they weren't, um, you know, that much more that much more spread out. So it's like, <clears throat> so it's like once it gets really really popular, suddenly um, he's seeing that all that stuff thrown around over and over is just like ah, this is getting old. It's like we get it, uh, Muda Muda or. Uh... You know, or or uh, or you uh, know, uh, how they, ER does it, or yeah, or it was me, Dio, and all this stuff. It's just like, okay, we get it. Find something new. We get it. Iggy dies. <laughs> we get it. Kakuin is a donut. No one be no one better be in the comments either. If you're one of those people that just stumble across and saying. Oh, uh, I was gonna watch JoJo. I didn't, but now that you spoiled a very important part, you know how old you know how old this is. 
Yeah. Iggy died probably before you were born. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Or they'll, or they'll, yeah, well, uh... or, or when people spread misinformation and it, it gets so spread out that people start start thinking that it's fact. Like a whole bunch of stuff is like, oh yeah, uh, this important plot point that never is brought up again, a uh, Rocky forgot. Like that's the most common excuse I've heard, I've seen, when it comes to to like inconsistencies with JoJo or with you know with other sorts of things where it says like, oh yeah, in a in an interview, Araki said this, and then they don't provide a source. I feel like, I feel like I know who you're talking about. Perhaps a certain YouTuber, but you know. Mayhaps. It's not. It's not, <clears throat> like, it's not like they're ever gonna know what we're talking about them. It's not like we're even a uh, cog in their wheel, <laughs> right? <laughs> we had a few cogs in our wheel, and I think those cogs fell out. So. Right, Hamon B. I'm coming after you, right? <laughs> I'll get you. Debunking Iraqi forgot. Where's your source, right? Source? Did you speak to the man himself? <laughs> Did you travel to Japan to talk to him? Just because you said he said this in this thing and then don't have a direct link or source or video to it, right? Listen. Maybe he did forget, but who cares? <laughs> Alright, well... <clears throat> I think that's enough malding and maldering uh, for one day, so... Um, and modding. And modding, yeah. And and, uh, and lean drinking. So, let's, uh, let's wrap things up. Um... Anything you want to announce, Jeromo, coming up? I'm followed by an Indonesian YouTuber. Indonesian VTuber, sorry. Oh? Potato, potato, they're on YouTube. They're just virtual. Mm -hmm. Listen, Jeromo, let's just become VTubers ourselves, alright? It's like it's like what <laughs> it's like it's like what Syndrome said from Incredibles. <laughs> when whenever when everyone's an anime character, no one will be. He do be spitting facts. <laughs> Let's be honest, we ain't got enough space or talent or you know people don't want to watch us for what we do. Yeah, we're not comedians, I mean idols, I mean singers, I mean what? All right, and even even I aside, terminated. <laughs> Listen, I <mean> graduated. <laughs> Graduate instantly. Oh. <sighs> Look, you know all the other ones. They might they might be able not just sing, but maybe some of them will. Some of them are able to draw. Some of them are able to cook. Some of them are able to, you know, have their own other talents. We don't got any of that. We're just. We just we just fuck around with computers. All right, I'll just be a cryptid v VTuber then. <laughs> oh God, Skinwalker VTuber, let's go! <laughs> what would you be? Right, I feel like we already got time shenanigan VTubers already. I'll just be. <laughs> I'll just be a fucking. I'll just be like a, a a cyborg. I'll just have like half robot parts or whatever. Oh yes, the synth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking synth for Fallout Four. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't really have anything coming up, um, but you know. You know who we are. You know who our things. I'm not on Twitter as frequently because I I got rid of it on my phone, so I only check on like on desktop. So <clears throat> whatever. You know you know our you know who we are. You know our channels. You know what we make. So just you know. 
the know, boss man and them, you know them. You can follow you know, them on their everything. Yeah. I'm on everything. Follow me. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. So, I guess we'll just, we'll be seeing all of you around. Hopefully next time we'll have the whole cast or partially and um, it'll be, it'll probably be funnier, you know, instead of listening to us. Mold. Yeah. So, as a, as a, as a, as a couple of wise men used to say, see ya, would wanna be ya.